we have about a half a dozen, four or five or six different modes of action, uh, herbicides with different modes of action labeled for grapes. So you have a lot of choices. So as a general recommendation, I would say we could use the uh, pre-emergence, uh, the old uh, uh, PS2 inhibitors, the photosynthetic inhibitors such as Carmex and Princep, which are uh, moder moderately priced and uh, for an acre they're 10 to 15 dollars. But you get a lot of weed control out of those materials. And they do not have a long residual. They probably two months, two and a half months, and then they kind of start to peter out. Well, that's good in a way. It's, you know, you say, well, I, don't, I want longer weed control, but the fact is they don't come back to haunt you the next year. But we can use things with it, such as trellis, uh, chateau, uh, Elian is a relatively new herbicide, uh, mission. Has anybody here used mission on the grapes? No. Well, I bat in a thousand percent for the day. Nobody that's been here has used Mission yet. The mission is uh, it's a new label. It's been labeled for a couple of years. It's probably very expensive, but it's a, of all the herbicides we use in the grapes, it's the most effective, in my opinion. It's an ALS inhibitor. That family tends to last a long time, but if you use it once, don't use an ALS inhibitor next year. Uh, you could use like Elian as a cellular synthesis, synthesis inhibitor, so it, uh, it's kind of different from all the rest that we have here or the PPO inhibitors such as uh, Zeus or Zeus Prime or Chateau or Gold. So you have several different types, you know. And so if you put two together, always kind of falling back on the PS2 inhibitors as your basis plus another one. If you are coming back in mid-season with another material, you may use something like Matrix, which is an ALS inhibitor, but it's, it's a short-lived ALS inhibitor. And uh, each time putting a post with it, like Rely, which uh, you can spray on your uh, on here right now, it'll burn the leaves off the grapes that it touches, but it doesn't translocate, whereas the, the glyphosate does translocate. So you don't want to be using glyphosate in the, in the orchard, although it has a 14-day, a, a two-week pre-harvest interval, which you say, well, it's, I can use it right up until harvest. But if you do get it on the grape vine, it'll, it'll be taken in, it'll be translocated. So you start to get injury to your, to your grapes. But Rely doesn't do that, Gramoxone doesn't do that. AIM doesn't do that, Venue doesn't do that. So you, we have several materials that you can use. Uh, uh, AIM and Venue are used at very modest rates, a couple ounces per acre. And uh, I recommend that if you're using like Rely or, uh, or Gramoxone, you put in a couple ounces of those, whatever. And that increases your, your burn down, your, uh, uh, speeds up the burn down, and it increases your activity on some of the weeds like red sorrel and, and horseweed that are, and uh, uh, of course, of course that's a very hard to control. So just by having two materials, you just increase your, your weed spectrum.